All right, so hi, I'm Mike Hughes, and today we're going to go over my horses afraid of whips. Uh, this is Mr. O. He's a seven-year-old thoroughbred off the track, and as we know, uh, horses that come off the track aren't very nicely treated on the track, and they often have anxiety issues, fear issues, and uh, other issues going on. And we want to get them uh, desensitized whips again, let them know the whip's not going to hurt them. In uh, some of my videos where horses are afraid of whips, people come back and start commenting, well, you shouldn't just use a whip, you're an idiot while using a whip. Well, let me tell you this. Um, to begin with, horses should never be afraid of anything I'm ever going to do to them. You know, it doesn't matter what I have in my hands. I could have a gun in my hand, I could have a whip in my hand, I could have a tarp in my hand. The horse should never be scared of anything that I'm going to do to them or anything that I have in my hand. So it's very important we get them desensitized. Another one is, what if I'm leading him or I'm riding him and somebody passes me that has a whip in their hand? Then what? All right, so what if somebody, uh, you know, I'm riding him in an arena and he, uh, we're just riding him in the arena and somebody on the other end of the arena is lunging him with a whip. So th there's three good reasons right off the bat why uh, with horses are scared of whips. You know, you need to get them desensitized to the whip and comfortable with the whip again so they're not uh, afraid of the whip instead of just trying to put them in some cave and so they never could see anything again, including whips or whatever else they might be nervous of. You know, if that's how you feel about it, just go ahead and put your horse in a cave and uh, never, you know, don't let them see the light of day again. Or you could do the right thing and get them more comfortable with whatever they're scared of, whether it's whips, tarps, or whatever uh, may be the case. So we've been working on this with um, Mr. O for a little while now probably four or five lessons. Uh, when we picked up the whip, he used to be very, very nervous, scared of the whip. Um, he's gotten a lot better about it. Uh, sometimes when you're uh, working them and they're scared of whips, somebody was saying this morning, I can't get near my horse with the whip. He starts shaking, flips out. We'll try being near him, you know, 30 feet away from him and see how he is with the whip. If he's calm and relaxed and comfortable, then try 20 feet. But you're going to get to a point where he's going to say, okay, 20 feet's where I'm comfortable and 20 feet's where you're going to begin working them with the whip. And you could either do it on a 30-foot lunge line or you could, if the horse is uh, more comfortable with you, you can do it on a, you know, a shorter line than a 30-foot lunge line. But you start wherever the horse is comfortable at. So with Mr. O, we're going to grab the lunge line here. Uh, I think it's right there by the tarp. And stay right there. I don't want to change in directions yet. Right there. So let's say this is where my horse is comfortable. Uh, let's just say this is where my horse is comfortable having a whip in my hand. Then I can start going back and forth like this with the horse. And you can see I'm looking at it a little bit, so he's kind of nervous about this. So this is a good start for him on this lesson today. That's going back and forth like this. If he was to try to move off, then I'd just go into doing the change direction on the lunge line, have him go to the left change direction, go to the right, change direction, go back to the left. Then I go ahead and stop him again, have him this distance uh, from me, and start going uh, through this exercise again. Some horses will be more comfortable with you closer to them. Some horses are not as comfortable with you being this close to them with the whip. So whatever distance your horse is, um, that's where you want to start. Wherever they're comfortable uh, with the whip is where you want to start. This was only, this is a preview to uh, helping your horse that is afraid of whips. If you want to watch the full video, be sure to join my membership site. Just go to Google, type in my Q's Horsemanship Members page, uh, click on the link, and subscribe. Uh, when you do subscribe, you also get a three-day free trial, and you get to join my group page on Facebook where you can post your videos of you working with your horse, pictures, and ask questions so I can help you and the horse more. We have over 280 videos on there, full videos on there, uh, with a bunch of different training uh, with horses, including a lot of different behavior issues, starting to bro broke horse under saddle, building confidence in rescue horses, solving stall vices, horsemanship, and of a lot of uh, other different types of videos. Some of the videos are uh, your hands on the reins, uh, so you can actually see me under saddle, uh, solving different behavior issues as well. So we hope to see you there. Thank you and enjoy your horses.